It's common for a gardener to come in and ask for a fertilizer for a specific plant. We get a request for plumeria, African violet, citrus, or any of a hundred other different kinds of plant-specific food. Well, gardeners, it's time for an intervention. Plants do not know what the name is on the label of the fertilizer. They honestly could not care less. They're only concerned with getting the nutrients they need to grow and thrive. The reason you see so many different products listed for specific plants is the same reason you can go to the store to find many different brands of aspirin. It's called marketing. Plants need specific nutrients, some in large quantities, some in very small quantities. When purchasing a fertilizer, by law, three numbers must appear on the bag. They are N, P, and K, or nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. I know you would think it would be NPP, but the chemical symbol for potassium is K, which makes it confusing. It's also why chemistry people aren't invited to many parties. In the most general of terms, each chemical has a certain function. Nitrogen is important for producing new cells, such as leaves and stems. Now, if I had a plant that I want a lot of leaves, like lettuce or kale or my oak tree, I would feed with a fertilizer where nitrogen, the first number, was larger than the other numbers. Phosphorus is necessary for the production of flowers and fruit roots. So, to make my rose bloom, or to produce large tomatoes, I would make sure there was more phosphorus available. Potassium is like a blood pressure medicine. It makes it easy for plants to move food and water from leaves to roots and back again. That makes potassium an important nutrient during drought or cold conditions. Now to make matters worse, the quality of your soil can make it easier or harder for the plants to get that food, even if there's a lot of it available. That is why it is so important, and possibly most important, to focus on maintaining a soil full of organic matter and rich in biology. This makes it so much easier for the plant to take up the nutrients it needs. It means it needs fewer nutrients. When you purchase a bag of fertilizer that is labeled for one particular plant, it doesn't know if your plant is in Texas or New York, or how much sun it's getting, or what the temperatures are, or the last time it rained, or if you had to use dynamite to dig the hole to plant it in. And what about one fertilizer that has real small numbers and one has really, really large numbers? Does it make it better? Nope. A plant will only use what it needs. There is a limit as to how much fertilizer it can actually take up. Too much of a nutrient can even be toxic to the plant. Just because there is more nutrient doesn't mean the plant will use it. It means it goes to waste, just like your money. You feed when the plant needs food, not because someone put a schedule on that particular plant on the bag. It's easier to find fertilizer formula for a specific plant. Don't let it distract you. The right nutrients for the plant should be based on what the plant needs at the time, not what's on the label. Where the plant is growing, what its environment is like, what you are looking to encourage it to do are the most important factors to take into account. The focus should be the big picture, not just small part of it. For Backyard Basics, my name's Jeff Ferris.